Welcome to The Nail Engineer. Um, today we've got a bit of a, a kind of quick hack video. Um, and I mean, probably my search hasn't been exhaustive, um, but I had a pretty good look around on the net, you know, uh, on Google, YouTube, Instagram and such like, to see if someone had come up with this before. And I couldn't believe that someone hadn't. And this was totally born out of laziness. Um, I have got a shed load of nail cut dicks that need swatching and I cannot be asked to do them over a multitude of colours. You know, like I've got like literally millions, well, more than six, to uh, swatch. And no, just no, who has the time for that? So, um, I came up with this hack and it's so simple. It's so bloody simple. Why did I not think of this before? I am so kicking myself. Um, and I thought, oh, I'll just try it, like, just, just on one. So, here we go. This is um, Glitterati Unicorn Magic, which is what this is. And this is over. Uh, you can't see it because, actually, I used a base coat of white just because this particular colour, which is Madame Glam, Minty Glam, is so very pissy. So that one coat of white saved me like two to three coats of, of the minty glam. So I thought, all right, okay, I'll just try it out. Surely it won't work. But you take your clear pop with your pigment on and put them side by side and you can get a very, very good idea indeed of what it will look like over any color with just one pop. And let's slide over our special um, unicorn magic indicator and look! Ah. So, in the interests of proper nail engineering, and engineering is just the study of being lazy, um, when you cannot be asked or don't want to spend the money on or whatever, any kind of like economy of time or money, that's all engineering is. And so I thought that I would definitely engineer out this entire hack and see if it works with your regular pigments and also stuff like your unicorn flakes. So let's find out. And if you can hear some industrial kind of noises in the background, that's because I'm currently in the process of having work done on my loft. And it makes me sound really, really posh, like oh, I'm having work done on my loft, when actually it's my other half and his dad who's been living here for nearly two weeks <laughs> to help son out do uh do the old uh attic floor so uh yeah i'm not that posh um we can't we can't afford to have have a man in to do that no anywho so all i've got here is um uh, i'm such a div i automatically put um non-wipe top coat on both of the pops not thinking that actually I would probably want to pat into tacky layer with these um, flakes but as you'll know they do also um, crow and I should mention that that flake that I was just putting on was uh, Glitterati Flying Fairies. Next up we'll try uh, Chameleon Chrome and Chameleon or regular Chrome the results should be the same for both. And this one is um, Glitterati Pigment Katie. And she's largely a green with kind of like a flash of blue. And you can see there that she goes on very nicely to my pop, which is just one clear coat of non-wipe top coat. And all I'm doing with these pops afterwards, obviously to protect them, um, is just giving them a coat of non-wipe top coat. Okay then, first up, let's have a go with the Flying Fairies flakes and you can barely see them there. So this is Flying Fairies over a white base 
and if I bring my pots along and just lay that over you can see and I will get some static images because it's real hard to see in this kind of medium in video but to the naked eye yes you can see that it looks the same and now let's have a look over black does it look the same oh now on this one I'm expecting it to not be quite as impactful because I've chromed it because I'm an idiot um, and you can see there that yeah they do look quite different um, I can confirm that when you chrome flying fairies you don't get kind of as much impact but worry not I'm gonna make another pop of this off camera and I'll take some pictures and include it in the end so convinced am I that this will work so um, but yeah you can see it's refracting exactly the same colors and then similarly you could basically take all of your pops and yeah I have a shed load and you could just pick ones at random and just test out what your color is going to look like that's what I'm currently wearing over the different colors so how cool is that so here's the the real test will it work with chrome now this is Katie on a black pop you can see there I just uh, zoom in a little bit and if it would focus that's lovely you can see that blue flash down the side just a little bit so this is what Katie looks like on a black background so let's take our black pop and pop over there and yeah it works you can see that and let's get a bit of light over this side maybe you can see the blue a little bit better but yes that works let's have a look now at this one and if I hold these two together again daylight photographs are so useful when looking at these things because on the camera there you can only see a very very slight difference not much in it at all now this one here is actually over a blue color so let's see how do they compare pop that on there pop it next to its neighbor yep yep it works so um i think that i've just saved the universe um from having to buy five million pops um every time that they get nail cotics um sorry to nail pop designers and um retailers i have possibly single-handedly bankrupted your business sorry about that um but yes 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 no more pop till you drop just make one pop a clear pop and then hold it over any other color pop obviously the bigger this pop is the closer you'll be able to get to kind of the surface of the underlying pop so if like me you've got some like kind of older pops that are a bit bigger um, that is a pain in the ass because you can't really get like a snug fit which is what you need to get a true indicator of color but definitely I recommend this hack um, so get yourself some bigger pops do the clear trick and Bob's your uncle so I hope you enjoyed this found it useful um, if you did like it don't forget to like and subscribe because I'm full of all of these wonderful hints and tips um, Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.